Hello guys, welcome to another Fortnite video uh, that I'm doing, and I, I don't want this one to sound too negative uh, from the title. The working title I have for it uh, at the time that I'm recording this audio is The Cons of Fortnite. I might, I might switch that up uh, because it, it sounds like really negative, um, especially after I just released a video uh, called, you know, What I Love About Fortnite, so um, may send the wrong message there, but this video is just going over what I would like to see change from Fortnite because in that love letter video I basically went over like alright these are the things that I love about this game um, these are the things that, that keep me coming back to the game now I want to talk a little bit more about what I don't like about the game because as with any game Fortnite is not perfect um, and there are some things about it that genuinely like really piss me off at the same time though I, I, I gotta like preface this a little bit I probably get the least mad at dying in this game uh, compared to most of the other first-person shooters that I that I frequent, um, dying in this game, I don't know what it is. It's just not as frustrating as dying in like Halo, Call of Duty, even Battlefield at times. Um, it's just not as frustrating because the game is just so much fun. Uh, but there are frustrating elements to the game, um, and that can make dying frustrating. That can make the game frustrating. So this video is going to go into a few of those elements and. Uh, Maybe even go into possible ideas for changes uh, that I have for those things if I do have ideas. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about, the first thing that always sticks out into my head of things that I don't like about Fortnite, and it's very interesting because this thing would be like a like a killer for me if it was any other game, but this game is so good that I still enjoy it. Um, it's the the random the the randomness of the guns. Really, the, the guns have a lot of RNG to them, and I don't enjoy that. Um, oftentimes the first shot isn't even completely accurate on some of these weapons and stuff like that's just really frustrating um, in my opinion I think that uh, a system for accuracy that would work this game better is something like what they had in Halo Reach if you guys recall that so in Halo Reach for example I'm talking about like ARs I mean this kind of applies to all guns but ARs are the main weapons so that's what I'm referring to mostly here um, and in, in Reach, I'm going to compare the AR in this game to the Reach uh, DMR and how that operated. So before they before they added in like the no bloom settings and all that stuff in Halo Reach, uh, the guns had something that was called bloom. And you know, if you've heard of like weapon spread, that's basically the same thing or uh, random deviation stuff like that. Um, very, like, if you're a Battlefield fan, you've probably heard random deviation. So stuff like that, it's very similar. The thing with Bloom, though, is that the DMR, the first shot of the DMR was perfectly accurate. Like, 100% perfectly accurate. And then every shot, like, every following you sh uh, shot you took in rapid succession would get more and more inaccurate. Unless you, like, took the time for the reticle to settle back down. And I think that system did not work great for Halo, but I think it would work for this game. I think this would be a game... Uh, where I'd like to see a system like that implemented. Uh, oh, these guys are going to get destroyed here. Um, but yeah, I think this is a game that would benefit from that, because then at least the first shot is accurate, and there's a lot more weapon skill uh, to that, uh, gun skill to that uh, type of system too, because if you learn the timing, like the perfect timing of the reset for your next shot to be accurate, and you get so gun uh, good with a gun to the point where you don't need to even look at the reticle, like you just know based off the timing when you can shoot a perfectly accurate shot again, that is super satisfying. That's a really satisfying system of skill in my opinion. Um, and I think it would fit this game better than the current... I, I think it just has a little too much RNG uh, right now with its assault rifles and even the SMGs and stuff like that as well. I would like to see... I would like to see the first shot at least be completely accurate and, and have, have it be more of a bloom system, have it be a little more skill-based um, in that sense. I think that would work out better. Maybe get more consistent spread patterns for the shotguns, uh, too. I think that would also add to consistency. That's really the biggest issue with Fortnite right now is inconsistency. Um, so I don't want to go too far into the weapon uh, idea I had right there, because I could talk about that for, for the whole video, but I'm not going to. So there's my basic idea. Let me know what you think on that. I, I personally think that would be a lot more fun. Um... Now we go into uh, now we go into another issue with, that I have with the game, and that is the bandages only being able to heal you up to 75. I've heard mixed opinions on this. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, I think that med kits and shield potions are so rare that like if you don't happen to land somewhere where they are, um, you're probably not going to get any because chances are the people you'll kill will have already used that stuff in many cases, especially the shield potions. Um, 
and you know you're probably going to take damage in a few of those fights before you get to the top 10 so when you get to the top 10 if you don't have med kits and you just have bandages you're kind of screwed like you just have to get really really lucky with some crits which is another thing i'll talk about for uh further into the video um but yeah, it's I, I don't really like that. I think that a good way to fix this would be there's a couple ways. I think you could make shields and med kits more abundant. Specifically shields, I think, should be made more abundant because right now I think shields are a huge advantage for just being a rare thing. Whereas slurp juice is not that big of an advantage for being a uh I forget what it is. It's a it's a purple. I forget what the the surname is for it. Um if it's like legendary or epic, whatever it is. Uh I think it'd make more sense if if a if med kits like maybe med kits and shield potions could both be uncommon um and then put slurp juice um honestly you might even want to mix it up a little bit i i think this is what would work either you could have med kits and shield potions both be uncommon that could work um you could also uh you could also ha bring slurp juice down in that scenario too so bring slurp juice down to uncommon as well or maybe even rare maybe yeah probably uncommon or rare um Another solution I think you could do is bring the shield potion down to uncommon, uh, and then bring maybe maybe put the health kit in the shield potion's rare spot, something like that, um, because the health kit is still gonna heal you up to a hundred way faster than bandages will if you took a lot of damage. So that there's still a big advantage in that. Um, plus, I, like I said, I don't think slurp juice, I, I don't think slurp juice has enough of an advantage to be as rare as it is. So in order to fix the issue um, that I'm getting at here of people like of being screwed when you have 75 health. Like I said, there's a couple ways you can solve it. Add more shields into the game, add more slurp juice into the game, or have bandages heal up to 100. Personally, if they just did the bandages up to 100, left everything else the same, I'd be fine with that. If they made the slurp juice more common, I'd be fine with that. If they did the potion thing, any of these solutions I think could work. I don't really know what's the best, but I think that they should test around with stuff like that because I, uh, I genuinely think that it would be, it would be better. Um, especially with the crits, because crits make gunfights where you have 75 health and the other person has full shields almost impossible at times. Now, the thing with crits in this game is they've adjusted them, and I definitely think they're better now, um, but I do think they're a bit ridiculous, and the reason why they're so ridiculous is because most of the time somebody gets a crit. I'll, I'll say from personal experience, I don't aim for the head in this game half the time. It's not Halo. You know, it's not COD when I'm going for headshots. Like, I, I'm I'm rarely aiming for the head unless I'm like doing a jump shot with a shotgun in this game, and I'll get crits where I'm aiming at the person's feet or their body, and I don't deserve it. And people do it to me too, and they don't deserve it either. And I think that with the random spread of the weapons, um, if they're gonna stick with random spread, I think they should get rid of crits. I think the better solution would be to keep crits and do the weapon solution I mentioned earlier. Um, but I'm saying right now, if they don't do that weapon solution, then I think crits are an issue. So. Uh, that's my my two cents on that. Although I will say crits have gotten better with the adjustments that they've done. Um, I still think they're a little ridiculous with the random spread, though. I, I feel like I get crit too often in situations that I probably shouldn't. Um, so that's another thing that I think that they could uh, mess around with. Again, the weapon balance would fix that. And moving on to another thing, I think that loot in this game can sometimes be uh, really scarce towards the end game. You know there's just not enough loot to go around like like the looting phase of this game ends very quickly um and obviously the idea to fix that is the care packages i think they could probably take the care package uh t care packages even further um and add more depth to it so like what my thought is you know these these care packages that they have now two will pop in every once in a while and they usually have like a good like a gold gun usually have like bandages or a health kit maybe a shield potion um like a trap um stuff like the materials stuff like that what i'm thinking is what if you had um you'd have those big supply drops that would pop in throughout the game too and maybe reduce them down to like one at a time like one every single uh every single circle wave um and just have one of those huge powerful supply drops and then i think they could honestly add in a couple more you don't want to do too much like you don't want literally supply drops all over the map uh so my idea is maybe do like a uh, a good supply drop each round and then do a specific supply drop each round as well and my idea with the, what I mean by that is it'll be something specific. It'll be a supply drop that holds a lot of materials of the different types of materials. It'll be a supply drop that holds a lot of health uh, equipment like like uh, bandages. It's got health packs. It's got shields. It's got slurp juice. Stuff like that. Um, it's got ARs. It's got a certain class of weapon. You know, stuff like that. Um, maybe traps. Maybe it's got all kinds of traps. All kinds of jump pads. Stuff like that. Um, 
I think that would add a little bit more variety into the care packages, and I think it would add, uh, it would hopefully fix, in some cases, it would alleviate that, that loot issue of there just not being enough stuff to go around late in the game, because then instead of it being so scarce uh, with that main supply drop, because usually this, the main supply drop doesn't have enough of what you need to be useful, if that makes sense. Um, the most useful thing you get out of it usually is the gun. The rest of it's kind of useless. So I think adding in these legitimate supply drops um, would be an improvement because you could, you know, if you needed health, maybe you find a health one. If you needed weapons, maybe you'd find a weapon one that has like not not gold stuff. The, the, Save the gold stuff for the, the big supply drop, but maybe like a couple green bursts and ARs, SMGs, a green shoddy, stuff like that. Maybe maybe a blue or two, um, stuff like that. Have the material. The materials one would be awesome. I would actually love that one. Um, but yeah, I think that's another thing uh, that could that could help out that issue. Would it be perfect? No, but I think it would add a little bit more fun, a little bit more variety into the current supply drop system, and I think people would definitely appreciate that, and it would help a lot of these end game scenarios. You know, especially if you got, you know, if two teams have like good guns, they're probably not gonna want to fight over a supply drop, uh, a gold supply drop, and it doesn't really make the game too interesting. I think there's going to be a lot more cases in an endgame scenario where two teams like don't have health and they need health supplies or they don't have materials and they need materials so they want to fight over something like that. Uh, whereas there being situations where teams want to fight over these gold supply drops in the end game because they probably they're in the end game they probably already have good weapons or at least decent enough but they might need shields you know you can't heal to 75 you might need a slurp juice stuff like that um, so there's my there's my idea with the with the supply drops. All right, so another idea I have and this one might be getting. You know, this video's been going on for a bit. It might be getting a little nitpicky uh, at this point, but I think this would be an interesting idea. So if anybody's played... Uh, I don't know if it's the case in the World War II Zombies mode, but if anybody's played the the Black Ops Zombies modes, or the... Actually, I don't think the World at War one had crawling when you were down. I don't think it did. Anyways, um, by the way, this gameplay, you'll see a couple mistakes in here because I was getting used to a new button layout, so I, I like switch guns at the wrong point. It takes too long to build and stuff like that. I'm used to the layout now, but this is an old gameplay. Uh, but anyways, so my next idea is if you played those games, you remember that, especially in Black Ops 1, I think that was the one where they introduced it, um, that you could crawl uh, while you were downed, but it would it would kill you faster. I, From what it seems, I don't think that's a thing in this game. Uh, from what I could tell, please tell me if I'm wrong because I'm going to sound really dumb if that's not the case. But from what I can tell, it does not seem like that's the case in this game. It seems like you just die at a constant pace when you're down. I think it would be an interesting idea to have it uh, to where to where you lose, let's say, like one point of health uh, every second. Or maybe you could stick it with two. Maybe you could stick it with two. Um, I think there's two ways you could take this. Either stick it with one health when you're not moving and then have that increase to three when you are moving um, per second, or have it a little bit higher, like not moving has you at two uh, and, and moving has you at, at six or five. You know, I think there's a lot of tweaking you could do with this, but, but I think in a lot of situations, it gets kind of ridiculous, especially in long range fights, how far somebody can crawl and just keep dying at that constant pace. Um, I think it would balance the game a little bit better if crawled people, if there was like a decision to make there, you know, do I want to crawl and risk losing this health or do I want to stay here, trust my teammates and have a chance at surviving longer? I think that would add an interesting element to the gameplay when you're knocked down because right now there really isn't an interesting element. You're just crawling for dear life. But with, with that uh, with that possibility of losing the health or, or uh, losing the health at a lowered rate, I think that would actually add an interesting element. Uh, where there isn't one right now with that downed gameplay, and I also think it would it would make some situations where people are crawling like so far away from you, and you get them damaged, like you get them really weak, but they can still just crawl and they're still losing at that constant pace. In this case, they're gonna have to stand still when you get a couple shots because if they don't get a teammate there, they're gonna bleed out faster. So I think that would improve um, things a little bit because I've definitely had some situations where I crawl to life in in a kind of a ridiculous way, and I think it's just a little too strong. Um, so I think that could definitely be changed with crawling. All right, so you know I'm getting towards the end of my gameplay here, so I want to get one final, um, one final idea in here. And as you guys could see, there hasn't been that many cons. Like I've been expanding on some some ideas uh, of where I found cons, but there really isn't that many cons. That just shows how good of a game this is. Um, and most of the stuff that I'd like to see them change are are really small things. Uh, obviously, the weapon balance one's pretty big, but most of the rest of the stuff is pretty small, and I think would be easy to implement, easy to mess around with. The weapon balance might take a little bit more work. Um, 
but yeah most of it's been like that and I do have one idea to end this video off with which I don't know if I've heard anybody talk about yet I'm sure somebody's had a similar idea and I think it would I think it would improve the game a lot so I know you've all everybody that's played this game has been in a situation where uh, like you get somebody really weak but they're just spamming build they're spamming build they're spamming build they're just building wall building wall building wall building wall and it just gets really annoying I, don't get me wrong I like the building element in this game I'm not getting towards removing that I'm actually getting towards adding a little more skill to it so my idea is what if your build cues had to be reloaded kind of like a weapon so like let's say you could have a hundred wood in your magazine I'm just I don't know what to call it your queue something like that um, so that means you can build a hundred wood until you have to regenerate your queue for about I don't know three seconds four seconds you know they're the developers they can probably tune with how long that time should be um, but I think that would I think that would improve the game a lot because right now there's a lot of times where people are just running away and building a wall and building a wall and building a wall and that's not interesting in any way uh, when you have people building forts at the end or people um, like using wood to maneuver up to high areas or or using it to like guard for a down teammate and str just strategic uses of the building are really cool and really awesome and I love the building mechanic of this game it's what makes Fortnite Fortnite but I do think that it gets annoying at times when when you're just trying to chase someone down and they just keep placing a wall like there's no skill to that there's no thought to that there's no strategy to that and I think that there could be a ton of skill and strategy added um, in being able to uh, in being able to have that cue, have that like reload. Again, I don't, I don't really know what to call it yet, but, but I think that would just add a little more skill to it. Um, it would add, a, it would add a lot more strategy to moving around the map because right now people can move around the map in some cases really ridiculously aggressively. Um, I do it myself. That's the type of player I am. You know, I love doing that. Uh, but I, but even myself, even when I'm in some of those situations, I realize how ridiculous it is. Uh, and I think that it could certainly use adjustment. Um, so that, that's my idea. I would like to see some changes there uh, because I think it would add more strategy. Now, now the, co the, the counter argument I'd probably figure that people would come up with this is that it would probably inspire more camping because right now with the e how easily it is to dodge bullets with the build, um, that, that allows more aggressive movement and stuff like that. Um, and I will admit that is true. Uh, but my, my argument to that would be for one, there's already a crap. I mean, the game's called Fortnite. People are building forts all over the place. I think there's already a pretty good balance of camping versus aggressive play in this game, especially compared to something like the world war two. Oh my God. Um, but I already think there's a pretty good balance of it. And I think doing something like this would still have uh, aggressive players. You just have to be smarter. Right now you can be kind of dumb aggressive, if that makes sense. There's not as much logic to being aggressive in this game. Uh, whereas if you add that build queue, I think there'd be a, a bit more uh, tactics to it. You know, you'd probably have to, especially in team modes, especially in team modes, there'd be plenty more tactics to it. You'd probably have to like coordinate building with your team. And if you did that, you could probably get around the queue very easily and still like, continuously dodge bullets across the map um, with team play uh, so I, I just think that'd be an interesting idea to toy around with I think it'd probably make the game a little bit more fun and a little more tactical um, and I, I, I do think it would still maintain the good balance of aggressive people versus people that are uh, a little more patient um, I think it still maintain that balance so uh, let me know what you guys think on my stuff there especially the last one because the last one is something i haven't really heard people talk about and i think it's an interesting idea i think it's the most interesting one the most original one i've come up with so i really want to hear thoughts on that maybe you guys have something similar but yeah i hope you enjoyed my video going over the things i'd like to see changed or switched up with in fortnite see you guys next time i'm just gonna let the rest of this game uh flow out here so hope you enjoyed watching